New York Presbyterian offers the full range of options for coronary artery bypass grafting. A majority of coronary disease can actually be managed with medicines, and that's the primary treatment modality for every patient that gets diagnosed with coronary disease. You're going to be on medications, and hopefully you can avoid surgery or even avoid an angioplasty or a stent. If you're not a candidate for medical therapy or angioplasty, you have to go to the operating room. In the complex cases, we often have detailed discussions about how best to manage the patients and what surgery is the best for the patient. Often patients have multiple different problems with the heart, including blockages of the coronary arteries as well as valvular problems or aortic aneurysm problems, and our number one goal is to get the patients through the surgery safely. We individualize the approach depending on the patient's anatomy, what problems they have with the heart, and then their age, their comorbidities, etc. You're going to have arteries taken and veins taken from various parts of the body, that's your own tissue, and we're going to use it to reroute the blood around the blockages. Again, that operation takes three or four hours on average, and you spend the first couple of days in the intensive care unit, that's standard, and then you go to the step-down unit. Our length of stay after bypass surgery is about five days. The risk is substantially less than a percent, and the patients do very well, and it's an incredibly durable operation. We have a huge focus on multiple arterial grafting, which we think will provide our patients better and longer lasting outcomes in the long term with better patency of the bypass grafts. In the past, vein were used to perform most of the bypass, but now we have learned by clinical research that the failure rate of the venous vein graft is substantially like 50% at 10 years. And so we have started using artery instead of vein for coronary artery bypass. In the United States, less than 6% of the surgeons routinely use multiple arterial graftings. The long-term survival of the patients is better. The long-term durability of the grafts is better. You have less need for interventions down the line. You have a lower rate of heart attack down the line. And you have a 20 to 25% improved survival even at five years compared to patients who don't have multi-arterial grafting. I think this is part of the role of an academic center. We do things that smaller center or less experienced surgeon are not willing to do. A lot of that research has been done here at Weill Cornell by our researchers, by our surgeons. They've published heavily in these areas and are internationally recognized figures as experts in the field of coronary artery bypass surgery. The most important, I think, is the connection with the team in the office and with the physician that are always there. I think that the patients that are considering surgery here at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell need to know that whichever surgeon they choose for whichever problem they have, they're gonna get a complete commitment from the minute they walk in to the minute they walk out and beyond.